We all had different wonder experiences. Yes. The Lord ministered to us in a various way. Yes. So from that wonder, we are moving straight to what? To miracle. Yes. Because one thing that wonder does is to bring transformation. Yes. And transformation is the breeding ground for miracle. Yes. I don't, it means there's a, there is something that God, want, God has declared and done in your life during convention. Yes. But the version of you must move to that level to have it. My son now does not need to beg me to have my car key. She just needs to grow to the level that she can do her driving license and she can be able to have free access. Somebody say free access. Free access. It means there are blessings that are be given to you now that you don't need to pray about. You just need to transform to the level that God can trust you. Yes. Transform it to what? To the level of influence. To the level that God can see you and say, take. So somebody say, God, transform me. God, transform between the wonder and the miracle that God had designed for you, there's what we call degree and the stages of transformation. When you begin to think like Jesus, somebody say think like Jesus. When you begin to look like Jesus, when you begin to act like Jesus, when you begin to take a step like Jesus, when you begin to pray like Jesus, when you begin to have the mind of Christ, that is what we are talking about. But the first stage is this. Day. To move from wonder to miracle. Somebody say wonder to miracle. Wonder to miracle. Well, somebody is listening to me. I say you are moving from wonder. The three days of convention called wonderful is taking you from that wonder. You won't stay in that wonder alone. You know? <laughs> I know. You will not do what? You have to move from that wonder. It's going to be full. That's why we call it wonderful. Yes. <laughs> and the book of Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. One of the names given to Jesus Christ's name shall be called wonderful. Mm -hmm. That wonderful has been presented to you. Yes. It now begins to transform you. And now take you from wonder to mira miracle. Yes. The first step to do. We are going to look at the first step. Because we have just few time before we enter prayer. For you to move from wonder to miracle, excuse me, for you to move from wonder to miracle is your is your right as a believer. Yes. What did I say? It's your right as the a believer. The woman said that, 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 that God is waiting, that the Eden is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. My son does not need to pray to have access to what belongs to me. All what he need to do is to get to, to, to get ready to mature to the level. It means there's a blessing waiting for you. Hello, church. There's a glory waiting for you. Yes. There is a favor waiting for you. Yes. But that blessing is not in this version you are. Hello? Yes. Because in this version can easily get angry. This version cannot handle it. I say this version can just begin to think, you know, this it means there's a calling for you. To move in this what we call transformation stages. For you to be transformed, the first stage is after you have given your life to Jesus. Mm. The first stage is you must learn to be a worshiper. Be a what? Be a Be a worshiper. When you look at the book of before we look at some, when you look at the book of Exodus chapter 15. When the Israelites they pass through the, the wonderful walking hand of God. In the book of Exodus chapter 15, Exodus chapter number 15, when you look at chapter 14, that is when they cross the Red Sea. And they almost say crossing the Red Sea. In the Red Sea, they saw, they saw the way of God. They saw the act of God. During our convention, you and I, we have heard about the ways of God. Yes or no? Yes. We have heard about the ways of God. Our eyes have seen. Our eyes have behold. These three days, we have crossed over. Hello? And after you cross over, it, can't leave, it cannot leave you the way you are. Hello? Something will change in your spirit, man. In another one, Moses and all the Israelites... <laughs> At the Red Sea, they saw what they have never seen before. I don't know what you have heard during the convention that has taught you. They saw both Vero and his horse and his rider, rider the sun into the sea. God made Vero and his horse to become food. Ask me what? Why? The road you did not make. Who asked you to enter? The road you don't know who, who made it. You are in a place before the sea. Where nobody, our forefathers, we have never read that they walk in the sea. 
You don't know who opened the road. And you do what? <laughs> you enter. And the Lord buried them in a watery grave. Hello? It was a mass barrier. Israel, they see the wonder of God. And then, from that wonder of God, when you look at chapter number 15, then they take the next step. Because after this convention, three days convention, the next step, every one of us, because a seed of greatness has been sold into your life. Everything you need in your life, from now until you see Jesus has been deposited Amen. into your life. But your eyes must be open, and you must know what are the steps to take. Somebody step to take. Israelites, they look back, they saw all the, the best choosing chariot of each of Egypt. And the writer thereof, the generals of the armies of Egypt, all the Egyptian chariot armies, they were, uh, they were million, they were on the sea. The Bible said they were sinking, they could not walk again. God deliberately do a mass barrier for them. We call it a watery grave. It, 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 it made sure it killed them when they saw the acts of the Lord. The first thing they do in Exodus 15 1 say, Then sang Moses. And the children of Israel, this song, it means the first step you must do is, is you must be a worshiper. You must get to a level of recognizing that we have had that Jesus, that we are serving a supernatural God. Yes or no? We have read, we have heard about Jesus that most times you may not understand his way, but we, we never come too late. You may not understand that. Uh -uh, why is everybody getting I am praying? Just wait. Somebody say, just wait. You have where we have here different ways of about how to walk with God. We have we have learned how to walk with the word of God. We have learned that the word will work for those who, who use who applies it. So Moses and the Israelites, they saw the acts of God, they saw the way of God, they saw the work of God, they saw Jesus in action. I pray in your life after this convention, in the name of Jesus, in your life, in your careers, in your home, you will see Jesus in action. You will see his power in, in your life. You will see his glory in your life in action. You will experience his raw power. The Lord will surprise you. The Lord will wipe away your tears. The Lord will hold your right hand. He will strengthen you. Every secret battle, every hidden battle in your life. After this convention, the miracle power of the Lord is coming into your life to take away every reproach, to take away every shame because the Lord Jesus Christ he is the same yesterday he is the same today he can never fail in your life you will experience wonder in the name of Jesus Amen. Amen. after they pass through the Red Sea the first thing they do is they make themselves a worshiper they make themselves a no wonder see the story the glory of a champion is in their story when I look at the life of the Israelites when they cross the Red Sea and the life of Anna, after God has answered her prayer, when she brought Samuel, we brought Samuel to the to, to the temple, the, he, she also immediately became a worshiper. But let's look first, Exodus 15. They then sang Moses and the children of Israel the song unto the Lord. Please prepare a song in your heart to sing. When, when you are in your homes, you during your prayer time, you want to pray for one hour. Excuse me, use 55 for five minutes. She can I will sing unto the Lord. A joyful song. And I will praise his name. For the Lord is good. When you are in your toilet, say, look at me. I didn't know. He will favor me this way. When you are walking on the road. I'm, I'm serving a living God. Yes, I'm serving a living God. Amen. Surround your life. Be the next step after you have experienced God is do what? Because ask me why worship confirm God's work. Come uh, worship, make God to fall, to, to, to act in and do that which He has already promised for you. Worship make you to join the heavenly host. The only thing God cannot do for Himself is who ought. He can't worship himself. The only thing that can make God himself, the only thing that can move God on the throne, he will not only send goodness and mercy. He, he himself, the Bible says, he habits the presence and worship of his people. Even after the convention, wash your thought. Excuse me, fight a good fight of faith to fight evil thought in your mind. You know why many times we cannot be a worshiper? Because sometimes we show you what you don't have. 
He will tell you, ah, if God answer your prayer, why are you like this? You know that Satan knows how to accuse God. He will begin to accuse God to us. He begin to ask you to curse God and die. And when they entered the life of Job, Job was being carried away. What Satan was doing, you don't know what. Job began to think as if God is the one that was doing what was going. When they tell him, children die, the business die, the animals die, he said, oh, he said, God give, and God take it. Whereas it is God give, who took? Satan. You must, after this convention, wash your mind. No, I'll kill every my dragon. Many times, stay, stand still. So think about what you think about. Submit forcefully your thought to be obedient of Christ. During the, after the convention, you must be a, a worshiper. Let's look at what Moses, when you are worshiping, what are the words that must come out of your mouth? Number one, they say, I'm saying, Exodus 15, I will say unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider and it thrown into the into the sea. In another word, please, you wait even in your dream, put worship song in your mouth. Hello? When you are sleeping, put worship song in your mouth. And your song should, should also declare how God triumphed gloriously in your life. Amen. Over your career, say God will triumph. Amen. Over your future, who will triumph. You worship God to let devil know that over your life, Satan has no ground. When you are, it is important that if it means all the satanic riders, principalities and power, some of our foundational riders that have been riding the horse of our forefathers, when you are saying pray, when you are singing, worshiping God, they'll be singing to the sea. When you are worshiping God, because after the wonder, you become a worshiper first step. This is what, 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 how you are going to worship God. Say, you will be saying, the Lord is my strength and my song. And he has become your salvation. It's your God. And you will prepare him an habitation. Your father's God, you will exalt him. In another world, the, the time you are worshiping, that you are acknowledging how powerful God is. And the more you are acknowledging how powerful God is, you are saying, Satan, look, you are too small. You are too what? You are saying this is okay, your strength. In another way, he has become your son. Excuse me, let Jesus become your son. The question, how can he become your son? He said, he has become his son and has become his habitation. Me, when I look at your life, God, God can smell your aroma of your voice, even from heaven. You know that he knows your voice. He knows who you are and he knows what you do. And he says, I will assault him. He's talking about the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariot and his oath, he has carried to the sea. His chosen captain are also drawn in the Red Sea. The death have covered him. They sank into the bottom as a stone. Do you see how they are singing worship unto the Lord? They are declaring, they are demonstrating, they are pronouncing, they are describing, they are explaining how God deal with the enemy. During your worship, excuse me ladies and gentlemen, begin to thank God how God has given you that miracle that is beyond you. How God has removed the embargo. Do you see how it should be? How God become their song? They are explaining to God how he does miracles to them. In another, in another, they are saying, God, this is your prescription. This is your weakness. This is great. Let God become your son. Be a worshiper. They say, the first, this is the right hand, O oh Lord, has become glorious in power. The right hand, O oh Lord, has dashed the enemy in pieces. Let God become your son. When you begin to worship God and you are judging the enemy. Somebody say, judging the enemy. You are worshiping God. You are removing the embargo. You are judged. You are worshiping God. You are saying, God, you are bigger than what people think. Hey, Jehovah, bigger than what people think. People of God, you must move. People of Israel, they move from wonder to miracle. And they, they also, the enemy said, I will pursue. I will overtake first night and I will divide the spoil. My Lord shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword. My hand shall destroy them. Thou this blow with the wind. They are, they, they, are, they are singing the song that God, this is how the enemy in a pump off. But when you step in, because some of us, there are some situation in our life that during this conversion, the Lord has had you. What you need to do is let God become your son. You, they are telling God first, they say, you blow the enemy. 
with a mighty water. They said, first, like, who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the God? Who is like unto thee in another world? As they are worshiping, going become their son. He also become their lifestyle. Worship is not only by singing. Worship is not only when you lift up your hand. Worship God with your lifestyle after the conversion. With what? Having a genuine priority that God nothing come before you in my life. That God, Matthew 6, 33, you become my priority. Without you, God, there is no way. When you set, you set your life around God, you let him be your priority. Let's look at Mrs. Mrs. Elikana. Let's look at Mrs. Anna Elikana as well. When he, when he experienced the wonder working power of God, I'm saying this because I don't have doubt. All of us in this church, we have experienced the working, work, working miracle power of God. Somebody say, working miracle power of God. Oh, you have experienced it. But you need to know how to control yourself. Something, I, when I studied the book of, of Luke, Matthew, the Gospels, something happened concerning uh, mother of Jesus Christ, Mary. When the angel appeared to, him, to her, you know what she does? She said, angel, I didn't know what you are saying. I, I've never read it. I've never read. I've never heard that somebody have a child without knowing a man. He said, well, let him be unto me. Oh, In another way, I've got no faith to carry it. But since you have said it, according to what you have said, I immediately, you know what she does? There are people in our generation we don't know how to do it. Somebody say wisdom. wisdom. Most time, after you have experienced one that you need wisdom, the Bible says, he dress up herself and go straight to the house of who? Elizabeth. And the Bible says, as he knocked the door of Elizabeth, the, the, the baby in, in, in her leap. For joy. In another, the seed of God that have been sold into your life. Where you go, how you go, what you do, how you talk matters. That, that's what matters. If many go to places where they will wash out that do you think you are pregnant? Maybe it's right, brother. You say angel talk to you. You know that some people they can make death of your testimony. That if you are not careful, you can lose them. You must be aware. Worshiping God is not only in, 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 in singing. The God must become your salvation. It must be in your lifestyle. You must, now you have, you have experienced wonder. Yes, you must know what to do. It may be a mistake to go just to just go to people or go to people. You, are you sure angel come to you? Ah, is it angel or demon? Are you sure you are pregnant and begging you go and abort it? Maybe it's five blood. It's only five blood a man, a woman can nurse without a man, not a baby. Hello? Bet. He went to Elizabeth. Why? Because there is a similarities between Elizabeth and and her. Somebody says similarities. What is the similarities? Five months ago, the same angel that came to Mary came from God to Elizabeth. Elizabeth was made to was also carry a, a child in her womb. Five months old, going to six months. So, in another way, when you receive the miracle, you must look for a, a, a Bible believer sister. Your friend must be those who fear God. Hello? You want to explain your wonder? Don't explain between you before those who is ah, eh? That, don't explain before those who does not understand the spiritual matters that matter. Why? Because that seed of wonder, they can uproot it. Hello? That's it, the one that they can terminate it. May your glory not be terminated in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory be found. Now let us look at first uh, Samuel. Because we are saying that from wonder to miracle. The first, because they are aware about 10 steps that you must take. But tonight it's only one step too that you can be able to pray. After God has answered Anna, somebody say, God has answered Anna. Do you know that during this convention, God has answered you? There is something that has taken place in your life. Your life is going to manifest. After God has answered Anna, what happened? He said, he also, he also take the first step. Somebody said the first step. The first step. And what is the first step? He worshiped, she worshipped. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 2, 1 Samuel 2, and he said, and Anna prayed and said, my heart rejoiced. Hey! After he has received the miracle, Penina has been, has been abusing her. 
A woman that the husband married after her has seven children and she's still believing God. Every time she goes to Silo, I believe, I receive. He has said he received, but it's empty. But, but one day he met Jesus Christ and he met God in action. And he took the first step. He says, His heart rejoice in the Lord. And his own is exalted. It's my prayer that your heart will rejoice in the Lord. Amen. In another word, the garment of praise. Spirit of sorrow and heaviness must have no place in you. Amen. It's, it's all is exalted in the Lord. Hey, your own will be exalted in the Lord. It, I say your own will be exalted in the Lord. Amen. It's, it's, his mouth is enlarged. Hey, somebody cannot. I say your mouth will be enlarged. Amen. Over your enemies. Amen. Because you rejoice in your salvation. He now begin to say, There's no one as God. For there's not beside thee. Neither is there any rock like our um, our our rock. First four says, the bowels of the mighty men are broken. Hey, see the way the Israelite, when God become their son, they were thanking God. They were describing, explaining how God defeated the enemy. Somebody is here, you begin to, you, you're supposed to begin to worship God and begin to describe how your enemy will be defeated. Be, be describing your way out of your problem. Say, God, I worship you because I know that this problem is over. I know that I'm receiving a letter. I know that I have made. They, they were describing their way out of problem. And somebody know because when God say, He said, God, you have become my salvation. You have become my son. I'm explaining how can, after the conversion, God will become your son. Just say, Anna, too. He says, The bowels of the mighty men are broken. He said, God, you broke. The power, the power of the mighty men. He said, and they that stumble are guided with strength. In another word, he said, they that were full as hire out themselves of bread, and they that were hungry cease. He said, God, I was one in hunger. I was once in want. I was once in need, but now I'm satisfied. You make my hunger. See how he's explaining to God what God has done. How do you think God will feel? God, he said, this one, he knows. Okay, this one, I think this one knows. And if you are very thankful, your thanks shall be full. Amen. He said, so that the barren are born seven. And she that are many is feeble. It's, it's worse feeble. First thing, he said, the Lord kill it. See, do you see how he's, how he's explaining God's act to him? He said, the Lord kill it and make it alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. The Lord make it poor. And make her rich. He bring her low and lift her up. Do you see the way he's explaining God to God himself? Are you? And do you think God doesn't know who he is? But when God becomes your salvation, you begin to explain God to himself. That God, I know that out of this problem, I am out. I know that your power has made me out. Your wisdom has made me out. Say so you do it for Hannah. He sang a new song. You do it for Israel like that Moses. They sang a new song. That is how, by the time you are worshiping, God will say, angel of favor, go to her. Go to him. As she said, truly, I did it for her. Now. When you pray the Bible, you can never pray amiss. He said, just as you the same angel that, that rolled the air and when Anna was praying, just go. Take him out. Take her out. The same thing that you do for her. Come and do. All the enemies, she has already explained. He has explained that they are perishing. Let them perish. And so on. And so forth. First, it was the rest of the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the tomb in, to set them among the princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the earth of the Lord. And he has said them, Hallelujah. First, they say, the adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Can you, uh, can you see how God become a son? So, after this conversion, let God become your son. Be a worshiper. The first step to do is to do what? Hey, come out of any, any cage where you have had before. Begin to explain to God how he has delivered you. Prescribe your deliverance. Prescribe your celebration. Prescribe your thanksgiving to God. He said, the adversary of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven shall he turn down upon them. The Lord shall join the end of the earth. And he shall give strength unto his king. And they saw the horn of his anointed. Let's rise up on our feet.